ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Chelemaya Nakathira, the World Boxing Organization Champion. Chelemaya, can you please explain to me what these are? They are so this, heavy. I'm, I'm this, the <laughs> these are belts, mm -hmm. belt boxing belts. Okay. You know, as a professional boxer, mm -hmm. you know, you don't win medals, but you win titles. Okay. Belt. So there was a point yeah. where you were winning medals. Yeah, there was a point where I was winning medals mm -hmm. and I have a lot of medals. I wish I would present them now here. <laughs> but yeah. here we are with yeah. the bigger but things. Uh, the bigger things they are here mm -hmm. in front of us. And I see some of them have lions and this one doesn't have. What does that mean? Yes, uh, this is a that would be Africa. You know, a lion there is just a, you know, a, mm -hmm. a, you know the power of Africa is a. You know, the king of the jungle will use the lion. Okay. So um, this one, I yeah, remember, yeah, this one is, was my first belt. I won it in 2016. Wow. Yeah, that was the 2nd of August 2016. I even remember that date. Yeah. Yeah, that's my first belt. Yeah, that's my first belt. I remember very well. Where did you get this one? So was I won it in here in Namibia okay. at the new candy club and resort casino. Okay. Do you remember I the guy you were fighting against? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I fought, uh, uh, it's a South African guy, uh, okay. Jasper Seroka. Okay. No, so the South African was it a knockout? <laughs> and not, all of these ones is knockout. There's oh. no belt that I won here where there was on point. It's all these belts, I won them by via knockouts. Okay. So, so that's yeah. the first one. You this is the first one. Mm -hmm. This is the second one. This one I won it on. Uh, in, it was in 2017. Africa's yeah. World Champion. It was in, yeah, somewhere in June 2017. Okay. Yeah, uh, this one. You also won it in Namibia? Yeah, in Namibia, we looked at the club. Oh, okay. So this one was it? This Namibia? one, yeah, it's a WPO Global Champion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I won it as well here against a guy from Europe, um, ah. uh, Zoltan Kovacs. Okay. Yeah, it was yet uh, held in the And what around did you knock him out? Uh, this one I knocked him in round, it was in round eight. This one, it was in round eight also. Mm -hmm. It's my first belt, mm -hmm. round eight also. And this one? The second one here, mm -hmm. uh, it was in the third round. No. Yo, yo, yeah, third? In the third round, yeah. So normally when you fight for a belt, uh, mm -hmm. title, mm -hmm. you are fighting, um, a, a two round, so but I couldn't go, uh, you know, a distance. So you knocked so him down three. I knocked him in down three. Wow. Yeah. So it's nice, you know. It's a good feeling. You know, being a champion. And they are so heavy. I thought these things when I see them, <laughs> I think they are light. Yeah. yeah you see us heavy. wearing them here like this, but, but they are, they are they heavy. heavy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's uh, this is uh, one of my achievements. Wow. One of the many achievements yeah, I must yeah. say. What's good ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of the NAM Podcast with Chris Lau and I'm actually not alone. I'm joined by the World Boxing Organization Champion, Jeremiah Nakathila. Please give it up for him. And hi Jeremiah, welcome to the show. How are you feeling? Hi Lau, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Thank you so much for joining me today on the show. And man, I don't know where to start. You know, when you're sitting with a champion, you get nervous because guys, this guy has achieved so much. He has done so much for the country and we appreciate that we are proud of you. Uh, when do I start? Take me back to your childhood. How was it like growing up? Because yeah. I want to understand who inspired the boxing in you, the <laughs> boxer in you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, uh, I, Jeremiah Katila Loki. Um, you know, I've been, I'm from Ewunda, uh, on South region, okay. to Ukonkali, okay. is where I'm from. You know, I, I was born and raised there. Mm -hmm. you know, it's where I grew up my childhood. It's basically. There, the village, you know, it's like a village champion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I... But you are nowhere a village champion, you are nowhere a world boxing <laughs> yes, organization yes, champion. Yes, 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 <laughs> Now it's bigger than village champion. I know what I said. Yeah, um, you know, a boxing, uh, I think it has been in me okay. because, um, you know, if I remember back you know, when I was growing up, you know, mm -hmm. in my childhood, whenever we are together with, you know, with the, you know, my, my, uh, my friends, yeah. there should be a fight. There should be a fight, you know, in most cases, there should be a fight. You know, I always provoke them mm -hmm. and uh, 
at the end of the day, you know, I have to, you know, if if they get aggressive, you know, I can provoke them just like <laughs> bullying them, bullying them. Friendly but fight. And then uh, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. if you get angry, then I will want to fight again. So I will not give you a sorry and so forth. So it's in me. Mm -hmm. So fighting is something I like, you know, I enjoy, mm -hmm. you know, those type of things. And now it's paying the bills. Yeah, <laughs> now it's paying the bills. Okay. So yes. who was around your life that, that might have been uh, if of, of an influence, that might have been influenced you to become a boxer? Like growing up, what's around your life? Yeah, uh, you know, growing up, it's, uh, you know, at the village. Mm -hmm. uh, First thing, we don't have a TV there. Mm -hmm. uh, newspapers, we don't, we don't read. We don't read newspapers. Nothing. Why would you read There was nothing that? really mm. that uh, uh, convinced me or I mean, give me that hope to be a boxer mm -hmm. apart from mm -hmm. myself that I just like boxing. Oh. There was absolutely nothing that I saw before I, I started boxing. Mm. I didn't watch or see a boxer or see anything. We didn't even know of them. Not nothing. Wow. It was only maybe the radio. They spoke about Harry Simon mm -hmm. that time. They spoke about Hitman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe if we just listen that time on the radio. Mm -hmm. But uh, other than that, not even a picture of wow. Harry Simon or a picture of a boxer to mm -hmm. see. So until I start boxing, there was nothing that uh, inspired me to start boxing. Okay. Absolutely. So, but when when. Uh, when did it kick in that you want to become a boxer? Uh, it was back in, um, I was in grade 11 in uh, Nyoma mm -hmm. Sendai School. Mm -hmm. uh, that was 2006. Okay. I'm in 20, 20, 2006, 17. Okay. 2007. Yeah. Did, someone 2007. did someone introduce you to boxing or how did you just decide yeah, to become a boxer? Yeah, it started just like uh, when we after evening study mm -hmm. when we go back to the hostel mm -hmm. you know i start just challenging you know, all <laughs> my friends like come come let's box i don't know what was going on mm -hmm. i don't i just think like myself game. like i think we need to to have boxing here mm -hmm. i know there's soccer mm -hmm. you know soccer i only sometimes enjoy watching soccer but mm -hmm. uh, i myself there was a time i was a soccer player but sometimes i get i just do it with aggressive even when I chase you, we are having the ball. It's like how to fight, you see. So that's and why. You realize this is yeah, not for me. This is not for me. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I just like, whenever after even study, mm -hmm. we go back to the block, then I just like, let's walk, let's walk, let's walk. So okay. until we come up with, we, with something, there was like a team okay. of like, we are boxers. Nice. So we were challenging each other there, but uh, it couldn't really materialize because we mm -hmm. don't have equipment. We don't have a gym at school. And the right we, people. Yeah, the right people to you, train and stuff. Mm -hmm. So actually in 2009 mm -hmm. uh, is when I came back, I came to Vendo. Okay. And it's where I started boxing. Mm -hmm. So uh, so yeah, it's where it started. It's where I get like when I came in Vendo, mm -hmm. I just like, oh, where is, uh, where is the gym? I want to okay. train boxing. Mm -hmm. I didn't, nobody took me there. Later, it's I just, just like, I want to know where is the gym. I look for it. Mm -hmm. I hear these boxers train here. I look for them and then I get to the gym whereby uh, Tobias Nashilongo and Elfas Njebo, the oh, okay. Soweto Boxing Club. Mm -hmm. That's where we, where I started boxing and um, that's where boxing life begins. So where are you now? Are you still with them, Tobias? No, uh, later no, I moved to Nesta Sunshine. Um, oh, okay. Uh, Nesta Tobias? Yes. Mm -hmm. So. And this is where I moved mm -hmm. because now we there was a time uh, at our at our gym. I was at actually I was at Nashilongo mm -hmm. at, uh, at 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 Nashilongo at Tobias gym. Okay. But I when I turned professional, <laughs> I I was promoted it? promoted by Nesta Tobias. Oh. So in boxing, there's amateur mm -hmm. and there's professional. Sometimes you see. Uh, boxers uh, fighting wearing the the protector oh, headgear, okay. the headgear, okay. or they are wearing vests, mm -hmm. you know, vests. So those are amateur boxers. Okay. So professional, you don't you wear, don't put you put on the protector headgear, you don't. So you don't. So therefore, okay. uh, I, when I did professional, mm -hmm. it uh, it I it was Nesta Tobias. 
who have been promoting me. Okay. Yeah. So actually, <laughs> take me back to your first uh, extra fight. Oh, yeah. How was that like for you? The experience, yeah. how was it like? You know, mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm the metal guy. When even my first, first fight, mm -hmm. you know, I've been, I've been a winner. Oh, I've been wow. winning all my fights. <laughs> You've been winning I've been all winning your all life. I've been winning all my fights. Even when I get wait, in the wait, gym, wait, there, wait, like when uh, we start challenging each other with uh, the guys that have been in the gym, mm -hmm. you know, it was, it was, you know, even the coach say, ah, this boy, where, where are you coming from? Uh, I think this guy is, you know. They no, see they saw was, potential. Uh, yeah, they mm -hmm. see a big potential because you know, as I started, I didn't really. There was no like I lost and what was. Mm -hmm. you know, I've been winning and I've been winning until I become a national team. You know, we, um, you know, I'm proud of um, of my country. Mm -hmm. They sent us to Cuba. Oh. We have been in Cuba for you know a couple to of train months. Or yeah, like just to train boxing. Wow. Just to train boxing. Who sponsored that? that? It was the government. It was oh. we were a national team. Okay. You know, at Amacha you can be a national team mm -hmm. whereby you can go to Commonwealth, you can go to all African games, you can go to Olympic. I those are okay. those are Amacha. When you are Amacha boxing, mm -hmm. you go to those competitions. Okay. When you are a professional, mm -hmm. you, you don't go to such uh, to those competitions. Mm -hmm. You win belts, titles. Yes. When you are first fight, it's so Amacha. Amateur. Oh, yes. Amacha, you know, we we was in um in Ishpena. Okay. You know, we used to watch boxing there, amateur boxing there, a lot of uh, many many times. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I won it on points. Mm -hmm. So I was excited. So and uh, I went there with my family mm -hmm. and uh, I was a bit under pressure, you know, because mm -hmm. I didn't mm -hmm. want to disappoint them. Mm -hmm. So no, I fought like yes, yeah, I had to win. So how you mentioned you went with your family? How's your support system like? Yeah, Do you no, have a they, strong support system? Yeah, I was told uh, my, my family, you know, they, they, they like boxing. Also, okay. I mean, they, they, I'm a boxer. Mm. So they always show me love mm. and uh, courage to, you know, to, to do more. So, um, you know how parents are, eh? They want you to be a doctor or a teacher or a nurse or something. Yeah. So, how, was yeah. it, how, how did you tell your parents that you want to become a boxer and how did they feel about it? Yeah, so when... Uh, I started boxing, you know, at first, you know, I couldn't really tell my parents, mm -hmm. you know, uh, but later I, I tell them that, that this is my I passion. used to, to do boxing mm -hmm. and I like it. So I think I'm gonna focus more. Um, in, in and boxing. What, how did they feel about that? So my father, my father liked it so much. <laughs> okay. My father was like, yeah, 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 you good, you know. He gave you a good But mommy, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, okay, okay, you see. But uh, yeah, no. Later, she you know, shows support. Mm -hmm. But late, uh, early, you know, you, as a mother, you don't want your son to be beaten yeah, yeah, or yeah. something like that. Mm -hmm. So, but later, hey, he always you know cheering for me. Hey, you guys must be happy on medical aid, eh? Because yeah. I mean, you get in beaten and then sometimes you yeah. get that blood. People get blood. Yeah, it's, 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 you get, you get, you know, you can get. Really you, can have, you, can have, uh, get, uh, you can get head in boxing. So after the you know, triple C test or something? No, but uh, I don't remember any fight where I fought and then I had a, Why a you swollen to see a and I, I see a doctor. I, I, the, the so how do you heal them? You just... No, I mean, I say, I don't remember. You see how I look. Mm, you the same just... way I'm getting out of the okay. ring. <laughs> you know, there was no point I fought and then I saw myself. It's having something that mm. maybe I have to apply something or I need to do anything. Oh, but you others know, maybe they go see. Others definitely. Even my opponent, if you see my opponent, yes. it's, it's on the face is damaged. But I, neither a matcha or professional, mm. I'm having 25 fights now in a pro. Oh. But there was no point I mm. I get out of the fight wherever I. I, like, American, no, I, I the, the same way, the same face I went, in the I, I get in the ring, it's the same face. You're coming out. I'm coming out. <laughs> so I don't, I, even you say, oh, you are not scared. Mm. You can, you know, I don't really have mm. anything to say, oh, yeah, you can get so but. But aren't you, know, you scared of like hitting your face or your face getting hurt or something? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, sure. I think this really, is really not me. Really. I don't know pain when it comes to boxing. Boxing when I doing I'm doing it is like eating food. It's like 
I don't know the pain about <laughs> eating is it, I mean, I, because you love it. I love it. I, I cannot even say anything bad about boxing, but just I just like it. Mm -hmm. So where are you at now in terms of your career? So now um, as a professional boxer, mm -hmm. you know, high ranked in the world. You know, uh, we just now rated second in the world. Wow. Um, so. Meaning you're surpassing still... all these hit men and you're surpassing yes. this guy. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So we are, I'm still training, mm -hmm. you know, even now I have to go to the gym. So I, you know, I'm still looking forward. How, many, how much time do you spend in the, in, the, in the gym? Yeah, I, I train two hours in the morning and two hours in the afternoon. So twice a day? So twice a day, yeah. Oh. In the morning, you know, from 5 you know, to, to 7 to 7.30. You know, when I when I go to work. You know what? Mm -hmm. Run me yeah. run me through a day in your life. How is a day in your life like when you wake up up to make time? How is it like? It's a busy it's it's, it's so busy, you know. Okay, I have to wake up at uh, at five o'clock, mm -hmm. you know, get to the gym, mm -hmm. you know, train for, for two like hours. two hours and then you know, take a, a bath and then I have to go to the to work. You know, throughout that I have to be busy at work. You know, um, and I have a privilege that I, I only work from 8 mm -hmm. to uh, 1500 hours, which is 3. Okay. So from 3, I knock off and then come home. So that's the time just that to you pick up. Yeah, there's a time I rest for an hour until 4. But sometimes, if I didn't really uh, get time, I just to come home, mm -hmm. pick up my bed. Mm -hmm. 4 o'clock, I'm at the gym. Yeah. So at the gym, and then um, again from the gym until yeah we started four until six. So after the gym, you know, again just a quick show. So when now do you have, when do well, you have your social life? I have, what? I have you know a pub, low key pub. Mm. You know, it's I a, just wanted to yeah. capture that just uh, now. I, I mean, how do you pub. get that? How do you so when do you get them to run? When I after the gym, mm -hmm. you know, I I can go to low key pub. Okay. You know, be with my friends there. They always you know want to see me. Mm. So just you know, socialize a bit with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's an athlete to them with the drinking alcohol. <laughs> yeah. So you have to look at that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a busy day. It, mm -hmm. The only time, even if like you know, it's it's, it's, it's for me coming mm -hmm. home, mm -hmm. coming to sleep, to rest. Shame. I don't stay home. Mm -hmm. I I only sleep at home. Yeah. yeah. So. I can only be at home to rest, mm -hmm. not to be at home and what, nothing. There was, there is no time that I can be here. It's a busy day. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, sport in general is good. Yeah. So I enjoy. I think uh, it avoid me mm -hmm. from a lot of, a lot of you know things you know, and the social ill, mm -hmm. especially nowadays. You know the youth. Yeah. You know the youth. They are focusing on. You know, other things, you know, drugs, alcohol, yeah. you know, which is really bad. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, if we it's are really bad. We don't sport, it's, 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 sport, it's a nice mm -hmm. thing. It keeps it's, you busy and healthy. It's healthy, 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 healthy and, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, all this, you know. So you're eating are, keen, eh? From uh, eating keen, yes, yes, so those yes. are things. <laughs> those are nice. You know, eating healthy. 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 Yeah, okay. So, you know, like a uh, uh, type of a sport like boxing mm -hmm. it require a lot of uh, discipline mm -hmm. you know when I mean discipline we talk about every fight that you have to, to go fight mm -hmm. you have to get tested you have to submit your mm -hmm. blood mm -hmm. result mm -hmm. because you know in boxing it's blood mm -hmm. so you don't you don't want you are maybe having a certain disease mm -hmm. a baby or maybe you are Positive HIV and stuff. And then you are then you to open it. Oh, okay, so I get it. It, it, it teaches you the discipline to, you know, to, to take, take care of yourself. yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you know if you didn't take care of yourself, then you so can't the end of the career. The end of the career. Mm -hmm. So that's boxing. It's not like other things where you can just mm -hmm. go. Okay, oh, I, didn't, I didn't know. I never thought about these things whether you have to <laughs> submit your blood to yourself and all that stuff. Yes, but now it's making fight. sense because when you're fighting, yes, there is blood, it's blood all mm. over. And you are not allowed. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, but I think you have to get tested. All the all the all the things that can be transmitted mm. with the blood. Oh, yes, yes. If you have any of them, you can't box. Mm -hmm. So 
the, the, you know, the, it's a healthy lifestyle mm -hmm. and the, the, to put you under pressure to, yeah, to, the, you know, to behave and mm -hmm. you know, all this discipline. Like yeah. mm -hmm. So that's uh, just. So when is your next fight? Yeah, we are, you know, as I mean, a professional, we, we and stay all. busy. Mm -hmm. yeah, we, I just fought recently. I when fought was it? It was on uh, 14 October. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, 16 October. It was 16 October. Was it Was it at Kambiri Club? Yeah, Kambiri Club. I just fought recently. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, I was it 16, like? yeah, I won by a uh, and knockout uh, in a in second round. Second? Yeah, second <laughs> round. So, if you look at my, my, my record, mm -hmm. yeah, there are a lot of mm -hmm. TKO knockouts. knockouts. Wow. You know, I'm blessed with the power. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, even now, we are looking maybe to be back. I mean, I might be back in the ring by December. Okay. Yeah, just to cross over the year you know, with another TKO, mm -hmm. with another knockout. But when you stay busy in the gym every time, so there's no day off for me. Especially this time, I can only be off if I retire, but mm -hmm. as long as I know I'm a boxer. Are you looking forward to retiring? You know, what no, do you, not, what not, do you not, think not anytime retire? soon. Not, not anytime any soon. It eh? never crossed my mind. Mm -hmm. So uh, when sometimes retirement comes it by itself, you mm -hmm. just feel like, oh yeah, it's all your time. Mm -hmm. The so, body will tell you. Yeah, the body will tell you. The body will, will just mm -hmm. remind you that mm -hmm. yes, now it's the time. Okay. So, but um, I keep busy, I keep training. At the moment, who inspires you? Like, um, who inspires you? Yeah, I am inspired by um, a, a boxer like uh, in the Weather Junior, mm -hmm. but it's an American guy. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Adria Ward, SOG, mm -hmm. an American guy. You know, those are some of the guys that inspire. Would you like to fight yeah. them one day? Yeah, style <laughs> in and outside the gym, out inside and outside the ring, their mm -hmm. lifestyle. No, okay. Inspired me. So in boxing also you have to look at you know the patient inside and mm -hmm. outside the ring. Yeah, you cannot just be good inside the ring and then be you know the opposite yeah. outside. So it's better to look more, more, much, more, getting more weight when uh, outside, you are also good outside the ring. Mm -hmm. Yes. So who do you, who do you want to fight? Like, who do you aspire to fight? The yeah, one person that you like to, to fight? For me, uh, it's just, you know, every champion in front of me, mm -hmm. you know, I, that's, those are my competitors. Okay. Those are the people I want to compete with. Mm -hmm. You know, and prove myself, you know, and uh, yeah, every champion that is in front of me or in my weight category, mm -hmm. boxing with weight categories. Okay. So you cannot say, for instance, um, you see, Mr. Harry, Shambo Simon, Harry Simon is a champion, <laughs> and me, I'm a champion, you can fight. But you know, no, this fight for Mr. Champion. Shambo, and that's everything in the Yeah, room. I heard about it, and I heard it. What do you think about cancelled. it? Is it cancelled? Yeah, it's no more happening. Why? Yeah, it's no more happening. Yeah, I think. But people are excited about it. Yeah, people are like, excited. Mm. But it's boxing. That's a, that like I said, you know, in boxing you can really get that. Oh. So I will not even. Uh, Especially that this man was going to fight. This particular man was going to fight with the champion. That man to fight Harry. I. <laughs> it's it's not because for his own health. Yeah. <laughs> So but you said he's a well-trained <laughs> boxer that didn't <laughs> fight like you guys yeah. he's, he's a boxer. So, uh, no, it's boxing. It's, it's so you're it's discouraging Mr. Shambo? Yeah, I discourage him to fight. It's he must have lost the mission. Ah, you know, just leave it. You <laughs> could do it maybe earlier than this. No, now not at this age. Not then. at this age. Mm. No, because when you are young, mm. you can even get him. Mm. It's not like when you are old, mm. when you get him, Different. Yeah, that's why you see, you know, if it's a young, yeah, young, young, young fox, mm -hmm. young lion, it's like a young lion. Like yourself. Even if you get hit, mm -hmm. you can handle it. You, you can down. bounce back. But if someone is old, mm -hmm. and then you get a punch, you can see the person is down. So the body cannot really, you know. So 
So Jeremiah, we're gonna wrap up there because we've been here for far way too long and uh, yes. this is you have to go to the gym after this. So uh, any final words to the viewers at home? What do you wanna say? Maybe to upcoming boxers or people that wanna be boxers. What do you wanna say to them? Yeah, uh, uh, my final words is just to you know to encourage the youth, mm -hmm. you know, uh, to choose their their uh, talent wise. You know, to choose what they really, uh, you know, feel like they can do. Mm -hmm. Follow they, their passion. Yeah, they follow their passion. Okay. And, uh, you know, they must study art as well. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. even as, you know, we are boxes, but, you know, we have been at school. We have something to fall back on. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. So, uh, you know, just stay away from, uh, you know, this social ill, you know, of alcohol and drug abuse. Mm -hmm. uh, they must always take good examples, mm -hmm. you know, they are, a uh, lot of good examples that you know you can look at mm. and then uh, take. Because so no, they say what you see and what you hear yes. affects the person that you are. Yes, mm. yes. So uh, the most just to, to add. Mm -hmm. Also, I used to um, I'm having an annual tournament, okay. which is Chiriwana Katila annual tournament. You know, it's a soccer. Oh. You know, we involve a lot of not just soccer but uh, sports, in sports, different sports. sports okay. Coach, yeah. So we just want to identify, you know, uh, talents, you know, within the, the village. Mm -hmm. It's just to happen at the village, you know, back at Onesi. Okay. Um. So yeah. So other teams are also encouraged to take part at, at you know German Atlanta tournament. Okay. You know, let's keep the uh, spirit of sport. You know, the spirit of sport. I know it's at the high level now. Mm -hmm. as we have. Our athlete that dominated at the Olympics, mm -hmm. you know, uh, our former mm -hmm. Master mm -hmm. you know, Patrice. Mm -hmm. So you can see that Namibia have a talent. Yes. You know, if we can win at that level, mm -hmm. you know, with this few population, you know, we are very few. Now that, that you mentioned them, I was actually team. supposed to interview them yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so it's a, a big achievement for the country, mm -hmm. you know, so, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's also individual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's how sport can, you know, one can make life out of sport. Yes. You know, that's uh, one of the examples that you can see that it's not just, you know, in, also in sport, you mm. can make a living you can or you can make a life out of sport. Mm -hmm. So you can take it serious and then uh, you can achieve, you know, what you wish to achieve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, blessing to everyone, mm -hmm. you know, uh, much love, let's keep supporting each other. Mm -hmm. No, that's a way to go. Okay, Jeremiah, I'm so proud of you. Uh, please keep doing what you're doing. You are very good. You put the, the, the country on the map. We are proud of you and we appreciate you. And thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate the opportunity. Right. And guys, that has been Podcast with Christ Lao and the LGN. Thank you so much for tuning in.